This tutorial runs through the steps for merging two SPSS files. In this case, one file has duplicate records and the other file does not. Uh, specifically, I'm working with student financial aid data and student enrollment uh, demographic data. You'll notice the file on the left has duplicate records. This is where I have all my financial aid uh, information. You'll notice the first uh, seven cases are for the same student because there's the student ID. And it's just recording each time a student gets a financial aid uh, offer and award. And so, uh, but this file does not have any of this demographic data in here. To check that, we just look at the, see the tab down at the bottom, you've got a variable view. The variables on here are ID, aid year, type, career, when it was offered, so on, all the specifics about the financial aid information. But on this file over here, we've got ID, we've got sex, we've got class level, student status, ethnic group, and so on. So we want to bring this data over here into this data over here so that each of these multiple records also includes e the student uh, demographic data. Uh, so you're going to need uh, one variable uh, that, that is identical in each uh, of the files, and in this case we're going to use a student ID. So go back to variable view and double check here. You would need to make sure that this uh, has all the same characteristics in both files. In this case, the name is ID, it's a string variable, it's 30 characters in width, and same over here. That's one of the things you want to check and make sure. So we'll go back to data view. Another thing I like to do is uh, save the file that I'm merging into with a different name so that if I have any trouble with the merge, which happens sometimes, I haven't ruined uh, my records, my original file. So I'm going to call this one 2011 Financial Aid uh, Bio Demo Data, and I've already done this once. I'm going to do it again, and I'm just going to call it V2. Save that. So now my original file is, is safe, and this is the new file that I'm going to merge into. And the next step has to do with uh, sorting. I want to sort my key variable, which is ID. I want to sort it in the ascending order. And over here, this is the file where I have no duplicates, but I want to double check that I don't have duplicates. So in order to do that, I go to the Data drop-down menu, Identify Duplicate Cases. I want to run it on ID, so I'll make sure that I put ID over in the Defining Match Cases uh, side. Uh, click OK, uh, and it just asks me if I want to replace the last time I did this, which I do. And it looks like the printout is telling me I have 9,929 primary cases. There are no duplicates. If there were duplicates, it would tell me primary cases are this many and duplicate cases are this many. So in this case, I have no duplicates. So I'm ready to go. I want to sort this file also in ascending order. And now I'm ready to merge. So I'm going to bring all of this data, the demographic data, into the financial aid data. And so this is my new file that's going to become the merged file. I go to the data drop down menu and go down to merge files. In this case I want to add variables and so I select this uh, file. This is the one that's open over here. This is the name of that file, enrollment data. Click continue and then my window here uh, gives me some particulars about what my new data set is going to look like. I'm going to use the ID to uh, match it on, so I highlight ID or I click match cases on key variables, click ID, and move it over here to the key variables. In newer versions of SPSS, there's an additional button under this matched cases under key variables in sorted files, and it uh, reads something like cases are sorted in ascending order, so you just check that, so be sure to check that. This is version 17, so it doesn't have it. Another thing you do specifically for uh, merging with duplicate records is we want to select the radio button non-active data set is keyed variable and that's uh, one of the important uh, steps in this uh, specific type of merge. Over here in this window you're looking at what your new active data set is going to look like and this has all of the variables that are going to be included in the new active data set and if you remember our financial aid data had all of these variables okay and then it stopped short right about here after housing. And then our 
demographic data included sex, current term, class level, status, and ethnic group. So now these are going to be added to the new data set. So if you have all the variables in here that you want, you can remove any of those you don't want. Okay, that's just the variable that was created when I checked for duplicate records. I don't want that in my new data set, so I'll move that back over here. Ready to go. Match cases. Non-active data set is key. Ready to go. Click OK. And it warns me that if I did not sort these two files in ascending order, we're going to have trouble. I did, so I click OK. And it runs the uh, merge. My uh, output should just say execute if there was no trouble. In this case, it does, so I'm good. And it looks like everything looks good here. I'll double check with my variable view to see if I have now added my demographic data. You'll notice down here that I've got sex, current term, class level. Those are variables that were not part of this data set. But now, with the first seven records that are all duplicates, I also have financial aid data and gender, ethnicity, class level, and so on. And that is how you do it.